I'm Ryan Horn, Turner Steven. Focus so on is Sean. And we want to be your Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn, Trainer Steven, and, and I'm. And as you can tell, uh, this is not Focus on Deshaun. Uh, this is actually uh, another really good friend of ours, actually one of our mentors in the game. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is Charles. Uh, introduce you. yourself. Um, all right, so I've been I've been playing this for ten years now. Yeah. Uh, again, you were you pretty much were one of the people. How are you doing, uh, Ace Trainer Colton? I'm doing well. Figured I'd come say hi to Charles and my uh, my buddy Stephen over here today. Oh, come crash gosh. the party. I don't get to say hi very often. Hi guys, it's Colton from Hotown Heroes. <laughs> it's kind of got creepy. D just a little bit. <laughs> you don't tell me how to live my life. But of course, when you <laughs> when you delve in the world in the realm of budget, you tend to find some interesting characters. Yeah, a little bit sometimes. Uh. But either way, <laughs> uh, much like uh, our much like our last video, we ended up doing our ed our editor's video or our editor's deck. Now we're gonna do your deck. All right. So without further ado, oh, we'll just jump right in. Okay. And then let's see what we got in mind. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Of course they have the advantage, but little do they know that we actually do. All right, uh, head to tails. Let's go with tails, because tails, tails never fails. Except, Except when it does. That. But they went first, which is what you actually want to do. Ooh. Could could definitely have they, a better start. They had a mulligan though, so hopefully, hopefully we get something good out of this. They, they mulligan two, at least two. Was it? It was at least twice. Yeah. Come on, draw into an EV. Yeah, two of them. No, instead we get a Just, hoop. I I would I would have dropped it, but that's fine. The dab and dust skull, trying to be all cool and hip. Right, now, uh, this concerns me because I personally don't know this deck. So let's see. We've got. So he's definitely going for the dust noir. Question is, is it the dust noir that forces Pokemon onto the bench? Ooh. Okay. So. Okay, so I would drop that Mar Marshadow. Or that the Marshadow. Yes. They're we, both ghost types, right? Yeah, they're both ghosts, but even then, we need a better hand. Ow! I said we need a better hand, not the opposite. What, what, what was that? Um, drop the DC on Poopa. And eh, you can search for whatever. I'm so used to my energies. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, where are they? Can't do anything there. That's rough. But yeah, if it could have been a turn one if we had a dark energy in Eevee. Mm -hmm. But that's fine because if we get this dark energy on Hoopa um, and then manage to get away out for. Ooh. Oh, that's why. Uh, okay, okay. Cynthia's good. <laughs> Cynthia's perfectly fine. Why, why you do this? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's on this channel. Yep. I literally just played a match with this and it went completely in favor. <laughs> like the draw was perfect. But... But no, of course, because of the fact we, we're featuring it on the channel currently. That's why. It... Oh, look at you and your big old dust clouds. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Ow, ow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that thing. Put one damage counter on each of your po each Pokemon. Oh, ow. no. We got to judge uh, We got to judge them. I mean, there, there's really nothing... Uh, Nothing we can do. Um. Oh no. Drop a grass energy on a Rangaroo. Oh, because I was. Oh, or you could do that. That works too. At, at least start swinging yeah. with, with the Hoopa. It kills it. it kills it. Mm hmm. 
I mean, that's literally all we can do. And okay, so like this does not showcase the deck in any way, shape, or form. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, and then you know what? Let's just at least show you. We'll show off the deck. Show what it was let's supposed to be. Let's yeah, let's do that. Don't come on ladder. I don't care. Oh, look at that! Yay, seventy-five Yay. coins. Don't don't care about the ladder stuff. I still wish you can turn that off. Uh, yeah. It's free packs every once in a while. It is, and free full arts. You definitely can't go wrong. Yeah. Uh, so now, let's take a look at what the deck's supposed to be. It's <laughs> supposed to be around Espeon GX. Mostly. 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 Umbreon does have a really big role in the deck, and Leafeon, honestly, I only put in for some sort of healing power. Yep. But it still synergizes pretty well. Yep. Because as you know, being Rhyhorn Trainer, I, I love the whole Rhyhorn line. The, the EV is, is your wheelhouse. This is every time there's an EV card, you are all already in deck building mode trying yep. to make it work. I used to, I don't think anymore, I know for a fact not anymore, but I used to have one of the biggest EV, collection, uh, EV collections in the world. Um, but... That's been some years since I've been able to add to it. I'm only just getting back into the game this year. And I had to sell off some of my, like, the stars. I had every single one of them. And kind of regret doing that because they're way more expensive now. But oh, yeah. back then I had, I was just missing, like, one or two. And now with EVGX coming down the pipeline, I bet yeah. you're excited for that. I... I'm very excited. I'm really hoping that it's able to just evolve into, uh, into one of the into evolutions. One of them, but I think it's going to be just not. I honestly would be would be happy is if uh, it's GX with something to the effect of evolve all your current EVs. What if it's chain reaction? The what if it's a GX that has like. 30 HP or 40 HP, and then it has chain reaction. <laughs> that I would I would be interested in that. I think in anyone else's hands, it would be okay. <laughs> in your hands, it would be a weapon of mass destruction. All right, so give a breakdown. What's what's the point? How does this deck work? Well, this deck was just freshly updated. Um, I'm still getting used to uh, the post rotation build of it. But basically what I was doing before is I had four ends in the deck, four ju or three judges, and I was basically making it so that you have to constantly shuffle your hand, brand new hand, make it so that they're just not quite too comfortable with what they get, even if it's still good, because it's constantly changing. Uh, that's why I have two Marshadow in there, because it, it's a judge. Yeah. Um, On top of three judges already. Yep. Their, their hand size is constantly four. Yep. Uh, peaking red card, I'm kind of just like, hey, what do you got? Get out of here. Um, the Cynthia was replacing the end because end's gone. Sad. Uh, yeah. Very sad. I'm going to miss that card. <laughs> A lot of people are going to miss yep. end. Although, to be fair, it, it's been in format for how long? Too long. Yeah, it's it's time for N to, to enjoy some retirement and, and let some of these other stars shine. Uh, um, Guzma, for obvious reasons. I don't really, I haven't really gotten a chance to use it yet. I only have the one because I know it can be a lifesaver in the future. Um, but of course, we got the 4 EV, only energy evolution because it's well, really good. Yeah, why well, run anything else yep. when, you got it, when you can evolve into any of them? Um, so the meat of the meat of the deck is about the Espeon. Like I mostly go for Espeon because turn one, uh, thirty and confuse. Hope they go first. Usually, if they win the coin flip, they choose to go first. But if you win the coin flip, obviously you can have them go first. Turn one, thirty damage and confused. It's really good. Um, Umbreon is in there because it also synergizes pretty well with um, Espeon being able to drop the 30 damage off with Shadow Bullet. Strafe is good because you may switch, you don't have to. Um, so you can switch out for like one of your Marshadow that's sitting on the bench. 
and just like, okay, kill that instead. Or you switch out for Hoopa and be like, guess what? You can't touch me. Something like that. Um, trainers are like crushing hammers because just slowing them down. Because this deck is designed to run pretty fast and it's faster if you slow them down. Well, of course. <laughs> exactly. Uh, energy retrieval is because there's three basic energy types in there. I'm going to run out of them eventually. So energy retrieval um, also works well with uh, Ultra Ball. You drop two energies and grab them back with energy retrieval. That works out pretty well. Um, peaking red card, like I've mentioned before, just to get their disrupt their hands a little bit. Um, professor's letter. There's multiple types of energy, so you need to get multiple energies out. Although uh, it is get professor's letter is getting ready to rotate. You probably could is go. It? it is. I uh, came out. I uh, came out in the X and Y box. So it's unfortunate. I thought, I thought it was reprinted, but oh, okay. Well, I will fix that. But even then, you can even then you can add in Lady. Uh, you can add in um, the energy recycle system that's coming out in uh, Celestial Storm next week. I uh, at least at the t at the time of this video's release. Oh, okay. And then uh, there's also Rainbow Brush that would be a good addition to the deck. Rainbow Brush, I might have to go with that. Uh, that way, you attach a Psychic and need a Dark. You can do that. You wouldn't be able to do it with the EV, obviously. You're you're kind of stuck with whatever one you yeah. attach to it. But still, I. Uh, so yeah, let's just do a basic rundown of the deck and and then go go to another match. Yeah. So by the looks of it, it runs four of the Energy Evolution EVs. Yep. And looks like three Umbreon or two Umbreon GX. One Leafeon, two Espeon EXs. GX. They're GX. We run two Orangaroo for Hand Refresh, because again, your deck tends to keep everything at like four. I actually don't really have problems. Like, I don't use Instruct as often as I think I should, but uh, Psychic will one shot a Hoopa or a uh, Baby Ninetales. So anything that would just wall the deck, yeah. this is more of the go of yep. it. Okay. And Synergize is very well with double colorless. Uh, probably one Hoopa to wall any just, GXs. Just to wall their GXs. Um, and then, you know, it requires a dark energy, so Altar of the Moon and Umbreon, you get to strafe out and then free retreat. Definitely can't go wrong. Nope. Uh, two Mark Shadow uh, with the Let Loose, so you can shuffle them down to four. And then a, a quick 30 if needed, but I'm assuming you don't use that. I've used it once. I've used it once because I literally got nothing but Marshadow and I won with it. It was my MVP. Hmm. Did 120 damage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like four attacks? Or? Two. Two of weakness. It was, oh. I think it was against a Malamar. That, and that's all they had. That might explain it then. Yeah. But I'm assuming it's mostly for the ability. Mostly uh, for the ability, definitely. All right, and then we run uh, two crushing hammers, so you can deal with all their energy. Slow them down. Run two energy retrieval to put energy back into the hand. Keep me running. Uh, two peaking red cards uh, to shuffle your opponent's hand and kind of disrupt them as much as possible. Annoy them, yeah. I, uh, you know, Mars wouldn't be a bad idea to put in here either. No, it wouldn't. Actually. Draw, draw two cards, discard one card from at random. Yeah, it's it, not different than the old Mars. Yeah, so it, it's not a bad Except idea. Except the old Mar old uh, Team Galactic's Mars, you put the card at the bottom of their deck, I believe. I, I think so. Well, we'll yeah. definitely have to double check that. Uh, we got two professors or four professors letter, but this is the more flexible one coming. Yeah, it's, it's coming gonna, in it's uh, gotta, rotation. It's gonna have to go. I thought it was staying. Mm -mm. I, I wish it was staying, but there's Lady, there's the Energy Recycle System, which is there's, essentially there's which is essentially Rescue Stretcher for Energy. Is, is Fisherman staying? Uh, Fisherman got reprinted uh, Forbidden Light, actually, so it should be. That's another option. Uh, does work well with the Ultra Ball, but I still need to get them in my hand in the first place. Exactly. Uh, two, two Rescue Stretcher to either shuffle into the discard or put one in the hand. That is... That, that's, a, that's a Marsh Shadow if you need it. That's an Orangaroo, that's, uh, an Espeon. Yeah, that's just swapped in from uh, Super Rod. Okay. Uh, we've got two Switch, so we can switch uh, just in case 
usually I do have free retreat because I try to keep that altar of the moon out. But when I have something that doesn't have a psychic or a dark on it, or something's paralyzed or asleep, I can't do anything otherwise. So I've got to get it out somehow. I yeah. was thinking of running uh, escape rope, but sometimes I want to kill what they got out. Exactly. Because yeah. usually that's a big threat. That is true. So. Uh, two ultra balls, so you can grab out either uh, grab out just anything. about anything you need. Run two ultra of the moon. Uh, retreat cost of each Pokemon with a psychic or dark energy is two less. With all of them, you're pretty much getting a free retreat. Rainbow energy too. Rainbow energy as well. Uh, we run four Cynthia. Uh, shuffle your hand, draw six. This is pretty much a staple at this point. It's replacing N. But... Uh, yeah. Uh, one Guzma, so you can switch. Uh, switch. Uh, so you can switch out. I uh, hit that target that you really need to hit. That surprise pop, but at the same time, Espeon VX is able to snipe on the bench for a hundred, up to a hundred. So yeah, so, it, it it gives it gives a lot of uh, a lot of cheeky plays. Yeah, that's why I only have the one rather than two or three. Uh, three judge again, hand disruption. You you can't go wrong there. Nope. Uh, the what, coming. Yep. Uh, one lily. So you can draw cards until you have six on your first turn. You draw till you have eight. Only have one because you're you're hoping for the turn one. Uh, I was. Pr I'm hoping for the turn one, or I'm primarily hoping to play something that can disrupt them, or complete give me a complete refresh like Cynthia. Okay. So it's still really good, especially with that turn one, but uh, I don't use it as much. Hala might be a, a good uh, a good addition as well. It might be, but at the same time, I also don't really use my GX attack like as a priority. It's kind of as a cleanup or surprise or setup. Okay. Uh, one uh, Pokemon fan club, so you search for two basics, put them into your hand. This is the new Bridget, so you, you definitely can't go wrong there. Again, something I used to have three of in the deck, but I found that I don't use it as much, but I like having it there because when you need that EV, that extra EV or the Marshadow or the uh, Hoopa or the Orangaloo or anything. Yeah, get, get, it gets you set up for whatever you need. Yep. I got two choice fans, so you can do 30 more to EXs and GXs. Sometimes you just need that little oom. Choice, choice band with Espeon, on Espeon GX. Uh, if they have three energy, say they're a, a, a EX or GX with three energy, that's hitting for 180. Which is really, which is, really good. Which is most EXs and GXs. Yeah, because that's at least a Lele gone. That's that's, a, that is a Lele gone. That is, um, that's, I just used it against a Gyarados. That's times two in a Buzzwall. That's what, ten? Oh god, you don't even need it on a Buzzwall. <laughs> and then that's ten short from knocking out a Necrozma. Um, an ultra necro no that knocks out a necrozma is 10 short on an ultra necrozma but at the same time like i was mentioning with uh espion gx's gx move uh divide i like to just put the one damage counter on ultra necrozma because usually after that i can get it um a clean knockout except ultra necrozma doesn't like to keep energy on it so it's not hitting as hard as i'd like it to yeah but even if you just get yeah. it within range I, but even then, like if I was using this deck in an event, and I was, I see a lot of like Rayquaza coming up, uh, a lot of Ultra Necrozma. I can always just swap out for a uh, swap out an Umbreon for a uh, Sylveon, and swap out a couple energies for it for yeah, the event. It, yeah, this this deck is kind of versatile in that way. Like if That's, you don't need the yeah. Leafeon, you can drop the Leafeon, add in Sylveon. Leafeon or even the, or, or even an Umbreon for a Sylveon. Yep, Leafeon is the only source of healing, so I would avoid getting rid of that. Yeah, because Breath of the Leaves is really good. It it really um, is. Plus the Force then, Evolution's not bad. And then it also one shots uh, uh, Zygarde. That like is. this deck is built. This deck is built against uh, Buzzguard and Dawnwings even. 
Yeah, so this really is like a top tier killer, versatile killer type deck. It's pretty versatile. I mean, I've 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 not had problems with much, but sometimes like I've lost to a little bit of everything, but I've won against a little bit of everything too. So definitely can't go wrong. And then for your energy, we've got four DCE, pretty standard at this point. Have to. Uh, two rainbow just to give you that little bit of uh, energy wherever you need it. Again, I was running four, but I cut it down to two. Uh, we've got four dark energy, two grass energy, yep. four psychic energy. Yep. So I think this is pretty much set up and ready to go. So let's jump into another match and see. Go for it. And let's see what. See, see if, if we, we can, can actually get an EV out on this one rather than just freaking walling with. That, that first game, I, I don't know if they scooped out of pity or what, but that was just a horrible they, game one. They didn't look like they had a very good setup, but I was also, we were also not getting a lot, so... No, we weren't. It, I guess it worked out. Alright, so now let's see if we actually get somebody. Come on. There ah. we go, there we go. Alright. Advantage. It's always fun against dark. That's, this is don't be Guzzlord. This is Guzzlord. This don't, is Guzzlord. Don't be that player. This is Guzzlord. Come on, don't don't be that guy. See, tails never fails. Have him go first. Would you like to go first? No. So Burke the Beast. One two three. Ooh, this is rough. Yeah, he's gonna mulligan like six times. This is Guzzlord. <laughs> Come on, don't, don't. <laughs> yep, yep. The, this, this is Guzzlord. Guzzlord. <laughs> oh no. And like we said in our first video, you would Let's have to be something. a real Guzzlord to run Guzzlord. Oh, that's rough. All right. Yes. The rest. Oopa, oopa, ah, ah. Come on. No, but we got the Cynthia. We should be able to get the Hoopa, no problem. Yeah, you gotta get the Cynthia. So now let's see. Cynthia. Cynthia. You get more cards out of it. Yes. Oh, it's oh no. Not not good. Um, we can still do it. We can still at least energy. <laughs> Just punch him. Oh no. We're doing at least thirty. We gotta we gotta win this. Yeah, Guzzlord Guzzlord's one of those decks that it's easy to go up against Ooh. or it's hard to go up against, but easy if you know what you're doing. Oh, this is so rough. Oh no, we're done. Yep. Oh, draw till you have six. Okay. Draw um till you have six. Uh so punch you for thirty. Mm. So now the question oh, is. Oh, weakness too. It, hold on to your butts. Oh, 360, yep. Alright. So. Deck was mad. De yeah. Deck is mad for some reason. Either. I, I, I have no idea. But that was Guzzlord, so it's not a legitimate win or loss. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Can you win consistently? No? Okay. All right, so oh, now, now let's go against an actual deck turn let's, two. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Advantage again. Psychic. This, Pure Psychic. So this, uh, Don Wings? this might be Don Wings. Uh, let's go Tails. If it is Don Wings, then you go for Umbreon. If you see a Malamar. Um, uh, well, we both Where are so all the Eevees? They're hiding me. There we go. Now we're we getting one. somewhere. Where were you last game? Come on. Where have you been this entire video? <laughs> All right. Um, had to take one. What do they get? Oh, they still have the mulligan. Oh, uh, Evie. 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 I would normally just like wait on the hoopa and keep it in my hand until... Because, you know, most decks, they have a against it yeah but if you drop the tech too early then good. and then what was their second wheezing oh this is espion. interesting espion then espion 
Well, it depends on what they get out. You always want to find what their weakness is first. So now let's see. Da, 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 da. There you are. There we go. Oh, and now they get two. It can't be like a turn one or anything. We'll draw yeah. the car for the mulligan. We got a judge. Ooh, yeah, that's beyond one shot. So, yeah, wheezing, wheezing wobble fed. Intriguing, huh? What do you do? So, just drop the band, yeah. We just so, choice band on EV. It's the only tool in here, you don't have to worry about anything else. Cynthia, Cynthia, well, psychic, psychic or letter, psychic, right psychic. There. Hopefully the other Espeon isn't prized. There, there we, we go. go. Now, now, now we're cooking with fire. Um, and then I would hammer for yep. the psychic on the water pet because you're going to kill that coughing anyways. Why not? Why not? Wava pet. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, might as well drop the altar, choice band on the hoopa, and kill it. There we go. So yeah, S, S, uh, there's the scoop. That's oh, the oh don't do it again. For some strange reason, we play, we play a deck, we, we either get a 50, we either get a win or lose. Yeah, it's kind of Every guest deck we've had, they tend to scoop almost instantly. Yep. All right, so let's let's get a fun third game. They have an advantage, but oh, let's electric. let's let's see if we can get a game. What is that deck then? Let's see if we can get a game into the third, third turn at least. Uh, no. Go first. No. Never. So this electric. They have an Umbreon coin. I like this person. If they win, I'm not going to be too angry. Marsh had a lead. <laughs> All right. Wow. So this hurts. This this does hurt. Ah. Okay. <laughs> they have an advantage. They say. Oh. So now let's see. There. Huh. That. So let's see, we've got... So let's see, now... Oh, how are we gonna do this? We'll have to Cynthia and hope for something better. We can't... Yeah. Oh, we can't moon. You can moon, but it's gonna well, help them, It would give them an advantage as well. But it also gives you an advantage too. So it's... I think it's worth the risk. So, they're going for Espeon. Okay. If you can get Espeon out here, that hits them for a 60 and confuses. They might want to not attack. It does Maybe. open. It does open you up to get uh, one shot. Or no? No, it doesn't give you. A, well, they still got their Lele play. Give them one shot. Now, are they going to? Lele Bridget. Come on, Lele Bridget. Cynthia. Cynthia. That's that's actually like really, really uh. That's interesting. Very interesting. Usually it's the Lele Bridget. How I was just talking about how I've never, I have rarely seen any uh, Espeon decks. Because it's good. Oh, SB Garb. Although this SB Garb. Although Lele might be in our might be in our range soon. It's it's only gonna be yeah. a matter of time. Uh, the hammer, obviously. Get out of here. Get out of there. Moon. I would. Let's moon, let's Cynthia. Cause we need oh. You can always peeking red card too. That's not a supporter. Coco, Coco. garb, yeah, that's gone. Get out. <laughs> yeah, good goodbye. No, <laughs> no, no garbador for you. Um, Marshadow. 
I mean, we kind of have no choice. We we need the EV uh, that we don't get. Come on. This is a. You do. I would have put it on the other one myself, but that's fine. Ah. Uh, are they even in there? They're all fries, aren't they? No, in our lock, probably. <laughs> it's rough. Like, so, so far we've only had one game where an Eevee showed up once in an Eevee deck. And look at that, they got the field blower because they're just they're this game. I know. So, why, why get rid of it's the same stadium? Yeah, they got rid I of you. Couldn't. A, what? Apparently, you can. Well, theirs is in foil. That's probably why. I don't have anything to throw at them. So let's see. Well, we are playing. We're, we are playing at one of our local oh, game no. stores. So. Oh, yeah. it's trash lamp, so... Oh. Oh, his weakness is dark. So, we're good there. Yeah, his weakness is dark. But he can still be, uh... Although, if he knocks out the Marshadow, then we can bring it back with the Stretcher. Stretcher, Use the shuffle. Let Loose, and yeah. hope we get something better. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, they, Evie. They win. No. My math is wrong. Okay, so there's 10 Seven, HP remaining. Eight, cool. nine, ten. Yeah, there would just be 10 HP remaining Ooh, if they divide. Yeah. If they divide. Which would give you a chance to... To uh, stretcher to stretcher. hopefully get something better. Yeah. Float stone. Uh, you have a float stone when you have altar of the moon. I guess it's all right. But, but even then, it's getting ready to rotate, so it's not as big of a threat. And I think it's more if we end up getting rid of it, even though we benefit from it. See, if that was me right there, I probably would have gone for the, uh, the divide. Oh yeah, easily. Just leave 10 HP left on the, the active with no energy. Yes, goodbye hand. Get out of here. Hey! It's about time. So, Eevee. Yep. Energy on to Eevee. Come on. And yes, you can still judge. Of course, I can still judge. All right, so let's judge. There you go. Toy Put spin. the hand on. Yep. And then free retreat. Retreat. And then siding for sixty, and they're confused. No, one hundred twenty, and they're confused. confused. Woo! Evie? That was so rough for a while. <laughs> what, what, why are you disappointing your dad like that? Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. Come on, buddy. You got it. But at least now... At least now we have a better footing. Yeah. We're actually... I would say we're ahead right now. Not in terms of prizes, but like in terms of setup. Little do they know we have the double colorless though. They don't quite know that yet. Well, thing is, so, you can still retreat while confused. If he yeah. can get another evolution, he might be able to hit us back just as hard. But then he'd have an energy. We have a choice band, and we'd be hitting for 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120 times two. Okay, so they're a Rangaroo so, retreat. A Rangaroo. Drop a double colorless on Adele and oh. So he's hitting us for sixty. That sets up. We need to get 90. another. We need to get like an Umbreon or something out. Bright side, he's going to be twenty shorter than Knockout. 
He's only gonna be able to do 180. Is he drawing to a goose? Is that right? Oh. That's real. It's a bigger threat. Okay. Lele doesn't fit the weakness. Well, something tells me he's gonna retreat the Oranguru for it. He's already retreated. Oh. Alright, uh. Uh, no Miss DCE. That's Cynthia. So let's go. Could we get. No, we couldn't get the divide. We could get the divide and kill the Espio. In fact, I would do that. Because it's a threat. Yeah, you just got a two, three, eight, four, five. Six, eight, and the rest on. I would put the rest on Lele because that puts it in range. Nine, ten. But it gives us two prizes. So Who's now we, now we got. There they are. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there they are. All right. A little late to the party, but now we got an now we got an EV deck on our hands. I, I really want them to drop a uh, double colorless on that Oranguru. Uh, I don't think they will. I think they're gonna float stone out of here. I think they're gonna float stone. I think they're gonna try for the Lele. Yeah. Since it's 20. Yeah, Lele is in range of knockout. But even then, 20, Perfectly. 40, 60, 80. It's doing 100, 200 because of psychic weakness. Nope. Lele doesn't hit for weakness. Lele psychic up. Lele does not hit for weakness. Oh, it's not affected by weakness resistance. Yep. Okay. So then. Whew. And it doesn't have a weakness itself, so that, that's one of the reasons why it's so good. Yeah, we. I think we definitely got the clutch. We. That was, so that was hopefully, solid. so hopefully he doesn't go. He doesn't scoop, and we can actually finish this game through. And we got the two EVs and the other two types of energy. And the double colorless. Alright, so now what is he trying to do right there? Another Espeon, okay. Right now would be a really good time for a Guzma. Oh! That, he's ending us, that's that's not a bad thing. But we only get four out of it. We get four, okay. But now... But even then, we could still pull it we off. Could, we could uh, Ultra Ball drop one of the judges and the Psychic. Or Grab out Oranguru, draw two. Yeah. See what and we get there. Judge. Got rid of the blower. Well played. Yeah, that took Lele out of range. <laughs> yeah, they knew that. But we already lost one. Uh, okay, drop the EV for sure. No. Ultra Ball drop the energy and one judge. So you don't want to lose those judges. For Orang. Or you, we could have gone for Hoopa. We could have gone for Hoopa. Huh. But there's just something, something fun something, about this. This is more sustainable. Haha, <laughs> look at you. We're EV. gonna lose that Espeon really yeah. soon, so... Let's go with drop EV. the EV that gives Cynthia. us bench space. Yeah. Letter. Yeah. Got a uh, dark and grass. Go... Grass. Uh, go grass. Go grass? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right? Leafy on? Oh, we don't have a moon out. They blowered. We don't, but it's okay. Okay. So now um, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20 times. Oh, no weakness. So there's no weakness. Even Six, then. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only 120. Uh, I. Unless you think we should retreat for the Marshadow, just smack it for 30. Yeah, do that. 
That's clever. So we'll treat for the Marshadow. It keeps Espeon alive. <laughs> and then just punch it for 30. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Forces him to make the Guzma play in order to knock out the, es yeah. the Espeon. Which brings up another Espeon. We don't have energy for quite yet, but... What does Trash Alliance do? Okay. It does 20 times 20 for each item in your discard. So right now it's hitting for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, oh. 12, 14, oh. 16. Right now it's hitting for 160. So this is now our second, or our, one of our threats. Well, that is a target. That is very much a target. And it's okay. psychic? Yes, it's Psychic Weakness. Perfect. So, bring up the Espeon. I know it's got damage on it. Would have been great if uh, Psychic on it. How much HP does the uh, uh, Garbodor have? It's got 120. Ooh, ouch. Leafy only hits for 110. But Espeon is going to die next turn. Drop the... Or... It's up to you whether you want a Lily or Judge. I'm thinking Judge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop the Eevee. Yeah, this Judge. Yes. Hammer that. Okay, I would drop the Eevee now, but I would hammer that uh, uh, energy off the guard. There's the energy off guard. Okay, energy retrieval. retrieval. Dark Psychic. So we can't we can't do that. So now it's psychic for hopefully knockout. Yeah. There That's, we go. The marsh shadow set it up. Yep. So even if you can't get the Boom. full even if you can't get the full damage, you can still come up with some cheeky plays. Very cheeky plays. <laughs> so here a Ranguru can't hit this turn. But no, it, can it cannot, but, but it, it can, can retreat to the Espeon, which can do some damage. The Espeon isn't killing us, though. It is not. Unless it gets a band. So. And it. Got a band. So let's see. Alright, so. How much okay. is it hitting for? We're going to have to divide it by two. Cause... Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marshadow? So it's going to be... It's going to be relatively... Where was it when we needed it? Oh, of course. Uh, Red Moon? Oh, that Jirachi, too. I'm thinking... Energy to Eevee. Okay. Hold the Guzma. Yes. That's, that's the plan. Yes. There's the other Espeon. Now, the thing is, we could do 60. We could do 60 in the confusion. We will wait. Play the Lily. And draw three. Hope for uh, Hoopa. It's Umbreon. Might as well. Might as well, indeed. Uh, retrieval, why not? Do we have an energy attached this turn, or no? I'm curious. We have one double colorless gone, and we know we at least have one in the deck. Yep, so guards getting knocked out. If we can get that energy out. Because thing um, is, if we can get the DCE, we can... It was hitting for 460, right? It's hitting for 460 on weakness. Which is, on, on weakness, that's two. 230. That's still enough to kill Umbreon. Except now it's probably hitting for 250 because of the retrieval. Oh, Guzma. Alright, what are there you bringing up? Goes. Orangaroo, retreat the Orangaroo for the Garbodor. Yeah, they, Just, that's game. It, it's strong strat. They got, they got game. Okay. Well played. You have a good deck. That was close. Smiley face. 500. <laughs> yeah, Garbodor is pretty effective. Yeah, um, I didn't realize that. Is that in stand staying in standard? 
I, th I think it's going to be staying in standard for a while. Um, okay. But uh, I think that's enough to kind of show off the deck. I mean, Basically, yeah. I mean, granted, there are a couple times we wish we could have got the EV beforehand. And, and, and not get two of them in prizes. Not get two of them in prizes and actually start with one. But no, of course, because we're featuring it on this channel, it, it doesn't want to show up. Does it but, to me sometimes, but not that often. <laughs> no, but we at least showed the fun versatility that the deck has and everything else. And it, it still is a really fun, effective deck. If you can get it yeah. fast enough, you pretty much get control of the field and you keep control of the field. Yeah. But I, uh, either way, I think, either way, I think we'll just call it a call it an episode. Uh, things are we're starting to pick up pre-releases out here, so it's starting to get a little rowdy. Pre-release coming in uh, about an hour and a half. Yeah. So uh, as always, may all your games go well. And may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoy, or we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it really is a really fun deck of our, a really fun uh, list for us, and we're glad you guys could enjoy it with us. Uh, be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And also be sure to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. You guys take it easy. Until next time.